I know it's a little strange. <laughs> it's a little strange, but uh, we are here. Uh, good afternoon to you. It's about 18 minutes after the hour, and of course, yours really Pastor Kevin on the GMAP Broadcast Network. And you know, I always get a little excited when we have somebody stop by the studio. And uh, today is one of those days where we have another special guest, a special treat. Some great information coming up right here on the number one faith-based motivational and inspirational broadcast network in the country. Now, let me make sure I say it right. Tara. 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 All right, let me see. Touch your mic. Let's make sure your mic is working. Hey, it's Tara Thomas. Uh, and you said hey. Correctly. Thank you. I said it right. All right. Well, we got to go ahead and, and dive right in on today. Of course, uh, we are honored, privileged, blessed. We're grateful for your presence here on the GMAP Broadcast Network. Thank God for your presence and thank God for each and every one of you who take time out of your busy day to stop by the GMAP Broadcast Network just to check in, see how you're doing. And, you know, we have a golden rule and uh, our golden rule is to do what we have been instructed to do. And that's inspire, motivate and encourage. Bottom line, we ain't going to feed you with a whole lot of other stuff. We're just going to feed you with some inspiration, motivation and encouragement. Once again. Uh, welcome to the GMAP Broadcast Network, and of course, we have Tara. That's correct. <laughs> Tara Thomas. Yes, sir. She is the president of the Lake County branch for the NAACP, and of course, we uh, we have some great things coming up uh, with the NAACP. I can go way back with that, but we won't get into that right now. I know we're just slightly pressed for time, but we want to make sure we get some good quality information out there for you guys. Uh, why don't we do this? Why don't we go ahead and have you reintroduce yourself? And, of course, tell us who you are and where you're from, uh, Lake County branch of the NAACP. And let's dive right in uh, into talking about the annual Fight for Freedom Fund dinner, okay? Absolutely. Thank you so much. And I really want to thank you on behalf of NAACP and all those in Lake County for allowing me to be in your station today. Thank you Amen. so much on thank this you. rainy day. Yeah, it's uh, a little rainy. <laughs> yes, but you have a very warm studio, so I thank you for thank that. Thank you so much. Um, I am here. Uh, actually, I'm from Detroit. Uh, you mentioned it. Give me a little bit of background. So I am from Detroit, Michigan, mm -hmm. uh, where my uncle, Reverend Charles Gilchrist, I don't know if you're familiar with him, mm -hmm. but Charles Gilchrist Adams, uh, used to be president of the one of the largest chapters in Detroit. We have over 10,000 members that are in our chapter there. So I come from NAACP family. My mother brought me up when I was two years old in the NAACP. Um, John Conyers, a former congressman, my uncle, was an active member in NAACP. So I come from a very strong uh, political, religious, civil organizations, uh, wow. a family, I should say, <laughs> that brought me into this organization. Wow. But I am here today to discuss and promote our fundraiser, our okay. annual Freedom Fund Dinner. Uh, we're going to do something a little different this year. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason we're having it is to raise scholarship money to send students to college. Okay. Our, one of our primary interests are AXO. AXO is a branch of the NAACP mm -hmm. of children. So we want to, and you know I'm an educator. Yeah. And I'm always promoting kids to go to college. Yeah. Because I know yeah. there are other ways, but that's one way. Right. So I right. want to at least give them the option to pursue a higher education. Okay. So this whole dinner this year is raised money to help send some additional students to college, or mm. at least maybe even assist them if they're there now with mm -hmm. their current bill. Because okay. college is expensive. Yes. You know, my it son is. goes to medical school, it's $125,000 a year. One hundred and twenty-five thousand a year, but fortunately for me, he's on a full scholarship. Amen. 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 And that, ain't, and that ain't nothing but amen. God. Yeah, that, we'll that, talk about that another I'm time. I'm gonna say amen to amen. that one again. You, you shout to that one. You know, for real. I'll encourage my son to get on one of the. <laughs> <laughs> amen. Wow. To that. Amen. So we have it every year. This year it's at the Illinois Beach Park Center, which is down, I'm sorry, the Zion. I think, yes, it is the Illinois State Beach Park, mm -hmm. and it's at the it's in Zion. Okay. Uh, it's very beautiful facility, Illinois Beach Resort right, and Conference right. Center. Thank okay. you. Um, they've had quite a few other events there. This mm -hmm. is our first year there. Okay. So we're hoping for a wonderful turnout to support our children. Uh, we're having a phenomenal speaker. My understanding is Mr. Moore. Uh, this year, our theme is we can't rest now. 
the stakes are still too high. Right, right. Which is really poignant today because at 2 o'clock, the verdict came down for that particular police officer in Chicago. Mm-hmm. And it was he was found guilty. Second degree he guilty. Second degree. So he got two to 38 years. Yeah. My yeah. 38 years but justice prevailed in this case okay so that's what we're about and that we can't rest now yeah. many of us who may be living comfortably like you have and i think <laughs> the is over uh it's well, not, about that one it's not, <laughs> the, the struggle, struggle is just beginning you know right. but yeah i get that and i'm i'm honored that you um and thank you for letting me know that because i have been so embarked in being down here yes in in the uh, uh, in our studios, I haven't even had the opportunity to find out what was going on. But I try to stay away publicly mm-hmm. from. Oh, we got um, good news today. Yeah, good that news. was good news, justice and it was, was it, justice was done. You know, and there's going to be some opinions made regardless to what people think, do, or say, yes, or sir. how they feel. There's going to be some positive and negative opinions behind it, but. Uh, we are here today once again, NAACP Lake County annual fight for freedom fun dinner. Yeah. And of course, uh, the stakes are still, like you said, too high. Um, this event is Sunday, uh, November 11th, Illinois Beach Resort and Conference Center. And that's located at One Lakefront Drive in Zion, Illinois. Now, is there tickets uh, to this event? Right. Uh, the tickets are being sold by members of NAACP. Okay. Uh, and we were going to put them online, but a lot of our attendees are older people. Okay. Who, okay. who may or may not be familiar with computers and who yeah. may or not have a PayPal account. So they can probably contact their ministers because they're being sold being generated, I should mm-hmm. say, through the churches. Right. A lot of the churches are involved because most of these churches are lifetime members of right. the NACP. Okay. Um, the members, like myself, if you go online, like with your show even, mm-hmm. yeah. you can find a phone number to contact us. If we need to leave the tickets at the door, we can do that. But naturally, we're trying to get these done in advance because we've got to pay for all these dinners. Right, So right. it's a dinner. It's black tie. If you're not comfortable wearing a black tie, we want you to come. You come as you are. Amen. Okay? Hey, if dress you're not it, comfortable. You know, yeah. But, but not too casual. But right. you don't have to have on a formal evening gown if that's not your thing. Okay. But, uh, yeah, so we're doing that. We're going to have great speakers. We don't – I'm almost like you in that we didn't want this to be a political affair because we know it's election time. Mm-hmm. Many politicians are running for election, and yeah. they're always looking for yeah. a venue or a platform to execute their particular um, scenario. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we didn't want to give it to a politician this year because we knew what their uh, motives were. So we're having actually someone who was in prison, mm-hmm. who's been a part of the system, who has come out and survived. And wow. has a 50, uh, he has a charitable fund himself where he assists others. Uh, one of the things that, uh, what is her name? Our, our state rep, Rita Mayfield. Yes. Rita has been a proponent for giving people a second chance. Right, right, she has. That she is, has. you know, I wait for her to run for governor or senator one day. She has been she has been doing this for five, six, seven years, saying, you know, those need to be a sponge. Mm-hmm. When you hire someone, you shouldn't necessarily judge them by their past. Absolutely. Everybody I agree. has I a agree. past. Well, and, and, and you know what, I... <laughs> Every, like you said, everybody has a past and everybody's going through something. Amen. And, um, and that's important. I, I love what a lot of people in this area are doing. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, Pat Jones is another one. Oh, she she's, really, she, Pat Jones. You know, if I'm not mistaken, Mrs. Jones was the one who started the recidivism. Or, uh, Coalition to Reduce Recidivism. Yes. yes. And thank God she brought that to everyone's attention. Yeah. Because people just take for granted where you go, you do your time, you come out. No, it doesn't mean no. there for everybody. Not know? even close. No. You know, that's not even uh, that's not even an issue right there, because let me tell you something. Um, I had to ask for a second chance more than once. Mm -hmm. See, so I had to eliminate the word second and and then implement another, Mm -hmm. you know, but um, it's people like that, like you mentioned, along with the NAACP and some of the things that they have going on that allowed us to to be in a position to ask, Mm -hmm. because sometimes it's not really. It's not really what people say Mm -hmm. it's the resources they give that's right you know in the direction they point you a lot of times it's just an encouraging word well i have this person or i have that person that you can talk to yes and the credibility that's coming from the individual that referred them Mm -hmm. 
allows you to receive what it is you're looking for. Well, even in the Bible, it says God forgives seven times 70. Yes. Okay. Amen. So like you said, well, <laughs> it's not the second time as many times. Well, you know, truth be told, can we? Can any of us count how many times we've had to get on our knees and ask for not. forgiveness? Absolutely not. And we'll not. continue to ask for forgiveness. I'm, uh, you know, I'm an educator. And I'll have someone sit in front of me and say, well, Ms. Thomas, you don't understand, you know, uh, my dad was a heroin addict or something. I said, you know what? Uh, I lost literally 100 pounds. Right. I was a food addict. Right. I was a sweet addict. Okay. Now I work at keeping it down. My addiction is just as bad as anyone else's. Yeah. You know, the fact yeah. that it's not illegal, maybe some food should be illegal when you get to be a certain weight. Right. But, you know, society tolerates that. Mm -hmm. But I am in no position to judge to anyone's. Judge anybody. And, oh, no. The day yeah. <laughs> judge yet he not want to be judged. Oh please! Okay? You know what? Anytime okay. we look down on someone, it should be for one reason: to pick them up, to pull them up. Exactly. That's it. You know. So I agree with you wholeheartedly. And again, uh, we thank God for your presence today. Oh. Um, and and what 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 we're doing here at the NAACP Lake County. I remember Geraldine Hughes. Boy, Geraldine, she used to and stay Mrs. on. And Mrs. Hughes, she's been ill. Yes. Which is why we don't, I guess, you know, she's been a member in WCP, I think, ever since it's been in Lake County. But I had not known that she was ill, which is why she hasn't been in our uh, meetings. But we still have her on our roster. She was, she's a lifetime member of NAACP. Okay. Well, I think the NAACP, specifically Lake County, I think, I think it should re-elevate their brand. I think it should elevate to a whole new dimension mm -hmm. because a lot of people, you know, need to know who they are, where they are, yes. why, and especially the younger generation. Yes. You know. And, and that is our main problem. Uh, we're very similar to the Jewish people, uh -huh. okay? But the difference with the Jewish faith is that they teach their children to never forget. Right. To right. never for, Don't forget the Holocaust. Unfortunately, with African Americans, we want to forget. Yeah. and move forward right 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 okay? right but when you do that right. you're doomed to repeat right and if we look at our society today and not speak anything negative i mean you know i was like you was born in the late 60s and i never would have thought that i would live to see some of the things my mother and father right, experienced right, i right, thought those right. again yeah, that's, that's all, in yeah. the past right those days are back you know our kids now they're having to deal with some of the same inequities that our parents and our grandparents were faced right. with okay. you know i never thought that kids would be um, not getting scholarships like they would. Right now, I can get 10 scholarships for every Hispanic child that I can get one for an African. Wow. Family. Okay. <laughs> and, if, and if you wow. were to go Is on a campus something? today mm -hmm. and look at the, just look at the demographics of what you see, it's not us. Right. Those right. days are bad. Yeah. That I know. So we're trying to move forward to NAACP. We're wow. hoping that Freedom from Dinner will allow us funds mm -hmm. to allow children like your daughter, your grandchildren, to go forward, now we need it. And tuition yeah. not like what it was when we were in college. My goodness. You know, we could go to college and their tuition be like 5000 a whole yeah. year. These kids go and it's 5000 a semester. Right. And I mean literally. And that's semester. just for books. And that's, for <laughs> books. And that's wow. why people say, well, yeah, we're going to give you a $500 scholarship. I mean, what are they going to do with it? $500? Right. Right. They came and buy a class. $500 for a scholarship is just a spending change, that's all really. Petty you know, cash. but. Uh, we thank God once again for the uh, NAACP Lake County, the annual Fight for Freedom Fund thank Dinner. You. And, of course, uh, we want to just let you know, um, first and foremost, that this, this platform is uh, uh, always available for you. We want to continue to uh, uh, disseminate the right information as much and as often as we can. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to have to attend a few NAACP meetings. I want soon. you to. You know, we actually meet uh, the fourth Thursday of every month okay. at the Waukegan Library. Oh, the Waukegan Library. Very close okay. to your office. Yeah, it's not far. No. So we meet there and we invite the public. Mm -hmm. We always try to have a guest speaker to inform the public of different uh, availability products. Or, you know, we have, like, for example, are you familiar with Shiloh? Or are you just yes. Okay. Because, you know, Shiloh has a wonderful food bank. Oh. Um, I love it because it's right across the street. Yes. They have a great food bank, and they've been using it for years. Yes. You know, thank God for Reverend Francis. Yes. But also there's a food bank in North Chicago, uh -huh. uh, the Shields Township Food Bank for people who live in North Chicago. Okay. So there are a lot of things going on that we're trying to get involved. I know I volunteer at, at um, Shiloh's like once a month through the Exchange Club. Mm -hmm. uh, I volunteer for help feeding the public on Thanksgiving. We need to start giving back. Yes, you know, I like agree. everyone's always asking, mm -hmm. we got to start giving back. So NAACP, we're trying to do things like that. Okay. To help well, that's people. definitely an opportunity. And again, if you want uh, more additional information, of course, uh, I'm sure that you'll share the information of how they can reach you. I'm going to 
Let's just send it to you. Okay. I'm going to send it to you. I'm uh, going to be, you have our phone number. It's up there on the web. Mm-hmm. And whatever we can do, whatever we can do to give back, because we we are for the people, yeah. all people. NAACP okay. stands for C color, mm-hmm. all colors. Right, right. And I agree with that wholeheartedly. Again, uh, for those that don't know, it's the uh, NAACP Lake County Annual Fight for Freedom Fund Dinner. Sunday, November 11th, Illinois State Beach Resort and Conference Center, 1 Lakefront Drive in Zion, Illinois. Uh, listen, you want tickets? Call me. Thank I'll, you. I'll, I'll connect the dots. Yes. All right. I'll, 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 I'll connect the dots. If you want tickets, call me, 847-744-2000. Just say, hey, uh, Kevin, I want some tickets to that NAACP annual Fight for Freedom Fund Dinner, even if you want to just sponsor someone to go. Purchase your tickets, Okay. The event, Sunday, November 11th, Illinois Beach Resort and Conference Center, 1 Lakefront Drive in Zion, Illinois. Tickets available now. Call me, 847-744-2000. Now, what's the number to the NAACP if they wanted to contact you directly? 847-372-3760. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's on 24 hours. Again, 847-372-3760. And we really appreciate, Pastor, everything you're doing to support us. Amen. You know Thank what? You. To God be the glory. Amen. You know, it's because of him that allows me to do what I do. And I want to, I always say, God does not bless us unless he intends for us to be a blessing to someone Amen. else. And he blessed me with this. Oh, You know, it's a gift. Thank you. You know, and I love what I do. Mm. I hope he never stri- uh, strips me of my passion. You and Miss Marcella. Yeah. Miss Marcella, that's my woman. That's uh, my girl. Me and Marcella had so much fun here. We don't want to We don't want to turn it off. Is that right? Oh, my goodness. I got to turn y'all uh, on. I'm going to turn y'all uh, on. You don't want to turn it off. I'm going to turn uh, you on. <laughs> She'll be here tomorrow at 10, oh, 10 a.m. Uh, Saturday morning coffee club. As a matter of fact, we have uh, Pastor Bimbry coming tomorrow. Oh, really? Pastor Bimbry. Yeah, okay. he's going to be her special guest. And, uh. He's going to hang out with us for the entire day. Two hours. You know, we'll be here from 10 to 12 tomorrow, the Saturday Morning Coffee Club, hosted by Marcella A. Harden. She is going to just be thrilled to death to know that you finally made it by. You know, as a matter of fact, hold on one second before hey, we let Marcella. you go. Let me see if I, I know she might be there. So I'm going to try to see if she's available right now, just so she can tell you hi. Because I, she, she, she is so excited when, uh, when she found out I was trying to reach out to you Aww. and connect. She said, oh. You know, that's just. I know how she talk. That's, yeah, that's my <laughs> Oh, she loves it. I'm gonna try to reach her soon. Here, um, I've been uh, my my com- every time it rains. Yes, my system runs slower than normal. It's not and you. It's the way it is. We have the same problem in our school. Really, when it rains, everything slows down. It's like when it rains. Yeah. So yeah. if it's nice, bright, and sunny, yep. you can almost guarantee it's going to be smooth. Technology sun. is great when it works. When it works. But when it doesn't work. Oh, my oh goodness. My goodness. Oh. It can literally shut a school down. I can it tell It could shut a whole lot of things down. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But uh, Tara Thomas, am I saying it right? You are. I you am are. so proud of myself, Tara Thomas, NAACP <laughs> president, annual Fight for Freedom Fund Dinner. Listen, I want you guys to make sure you reach out to us. Let's show some love, care, concern, and support for this event. And of course, we want to sit. We, we we want to get some some funds together for some scholarships. Yes, some serious scholarships, not just yes saying they're scholarships, we, we, but they're really just ships. We want to <laughs> help our children. Amen. I think it's great that other people help our children. Mm-hmm. It is wonderful, but they're ours. More accountable. Absolutely, I agree wholeheartedly, and we do. We need to start reaching out yes. and helping our. Children. So again, if you guys um, really, really want to reach out and really want to uh, uh, get a couple of these tickets, uh, you can call me. I, I, I guarantee you, I'll be sure to connect the dots. I, it'll be my pleasure. Um, reach out to me eight four seven seven four four two thousand. Y'all lucky my system ain't running right because I was going to get Marcella. We might have been here for another 45, 50 oh, minutes I if I'd have got Marcella on the line. Yes, so. Are we going to do this another time? Oh, we are. Are we, we going to do another time? We are. So uh, don't forget, uh, November 11th, uh, Sunday, November 11th, Illinois Beach Resort. Uh, one. Li- now, what time? Let me ask Oh, I'm that. so sorry. It's from 5 until 9. 5, five to 9. Eight, okay. Nine. Right. Okay. Oh, God, that's like important, isn't it? Yeah. Especially on a Sunday when people got to go to church. Yeah, because I just so, thought about it. I'm like, Sunday, no, okay. that's right. We want to make sure it was after service because we're not trying to interfere with God's oh, word. No, that's okay? Right. Don't, no. don't, 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 don't mess with the Lord's word. 
So yeah. I know you got to go, but I want to thank you Amen. for allowing us to be your guest. This Amen. is very important. And it's right here in Lake County as well as where, you know, you guys extend past Lake County, Lake County, don't you? Yeah, we are worldwide. Oh, my gosh. Well, we're, we're right here in Lake County. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, we're based okay. in Lake County, in Waukegan specifically, but... Okay. Uh, We've been heard in over 158 countries. Well, they can send funds. They can send a contribution, a donation. Send it. We will accept that. Amen. And uh, again, thank you for allowing us to be on My pleasure. And we appreciate you stopping by today. Once again, we, th we thank God for each and every one of you as well. So, listen, continue to tune in. we got another program, uh, Living Life, dot, 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 with Sam Graham, coming up at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time right here on the GMAP Broadcast Network. When I'm going to just go ahead and officially say peace. God bless you. Take care. Take it easy. If it's good to you, take it twice. Remember this. If you do not remember anything else in life, keep God first in your life. You cannot and or will not ever, ever go wrong. God loves you, and so do I. Believe in your heart. Confess with your mouth that he died on the cross for our sins. He rose again on that third day, descended up into the heavens, and now he is currently sitting on the right hand of God, preparing a place for you and me. God bless you. May God keep you. Have a great day and have an even better weekend. We'll see you next time. Take care. All right. God bless. Bye-bye.